Michael Watts, who's been studying some of our handwriting around the office. Michael, good evening. Thanks good for evening, coming Stephanie. in. What general guidelines can you follow in handwriting? I mean, is, is it if someone's a good handwriter, then they're a good character, or if they're a bad handwriter, they're a bad character? Well, graphology is actually based on the study of expressive gestures which are frozen onto paper, much in the same way that we can interpret the nonverbal communication that a person exhibits in accompaniment to their speech. So we interpret the expressive gestures as as they are seen frozen onto the paper and this gives us plenty time to interpret. Now it's based upon empirical observation. In other words, graphology is largely based upon the correlation of specific handwriting shapes and signs connected with specific personality traits. All right, we gave you some samples to analyze and um, we can have a look at them here actually. Um, this is the first sample. What, what do you make from that? Okay, a, to I begin think. with, sample A shows enormously high stamina. Now, this can be seen from the long extensions, the long descending lines on letters such as G. Now, normally you would look for a descending line approximately three to four times the size of the central area of the writing. That is the area occupied by the vowel formations. Right. Now, in this particular example, some of these Gs descend as much as five or six times, which shows an absolute powerhouse of energy and vitality. Well, it would need to be because that's our producer and she's been here from about 8 o'clock this morning. Can you tell from someone's writing if they're male or female? You can determine male or female characteristics, but the graphologist should ask whether the person submitting the handwriting sample is male or female to avoid embarrassment. One right. doesn't wish to... <laughs> So um, the next point that comes out is the immense leadership drive. Now, this is shown by the uh, upward slanting T-crosses and also some of the T-crosses are remarkably long. Now, when the cross uh, over a T is uh, twice or more the size of the stem, this shows a very assertive will that needs to be in a position of leadership in order to feel fulfilled. So mm. there'll be immense frustration if someone with this sort of handwriting characteristic is employed in a position where they have to answer if, to if outside If we can just authority. go on to our next sample, I think, I think we have that. What about, if I can just ask you in the meantime, now there's the next um, sample there. <laughs> and, yes. and my name beside it. <laughs> Thank you for that, chaps. Uh, your handwriting shows that you're someone with strong literary inclinations. You have a strong sense of culture, a love of good literature, and an unmistakable flair for words, which would enable you, if you chose, to write professionally. Now, in my book under the chapter heading entitled The Literary Type, I mention this type of person will obviously feel most at home in areas such as journalism, advertising, publishing, etc. So your profession at the moment is, I think, very ideally suited to your temperament. Now, now you'll notice the stems on your letter D's are extremely short and this shows that you're a very free spirit. You need to work without too much outside authority directing your moves and you underline your signature with an extremely firm stroke and this shows a strong sense of self-reliance and also exceptional confidence which will transmit in, in uh, a manner that people will have great confidence and assurance that you know what you're doing. Okay, if we can just have our, our next sample, that's um, example okay, C, I think. Okay, the next sample is sample C. Now this is a very interesting sample of handwriting and it shows somewhat complex personality. This person has an exceptionally private personality and manages extremely successfully to maintain this privacy without upsetting or alienating those around him because he has skillfully divided his life into two distinct and very separate parts, his public personality and his private inner self, and there is little, if any, overlap. What about, you know, teachers, how they teach you writing and the way we're taught? And, you know, for, for example, doctor's writing always seems to be a great scrawl. Is, yes. that, is that so that we can't read the prescription or is that a certain type of character? Well, when the handwriting uh, degenerates the point where the letter forms become illegible, this shows the person is working under a very high pressure load. So um, it means that they're under a great deal of stress and they may well be coping with their work environment sufficiently well, but their health or psychological well-being w may inevitably suffer as a Michael, result of Michael the Michael Watts, pressure. thank you for joining us. Okay. I'm sorry, we'll have to leave it there. Okay, thanks, thanks very again. much, Stephanie. Interesting stuff. I'm glad you didn't see my writing. I've always been embarrassed Did you think that was true, all those things that graphologists were saying I, I about me? I was amazed. I love that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to know it was quite accurate, really. Yeah. Yeah. It certainly was. You live and learn. Back in a few moments.